Oh boy. What's up, Gunpla Modelers? This is Strider Prime. How's everyone doing? <laughs> uh, reminiscing on everything that I have uh, uh, saw at uh, Comic Con yesterday. Um, it was a great show. Um, pretty cool. Um, of course, not something that I, I always do go on a Sunday. It's always been a Friday and a Saturday, obviously for spe for specific reasons. Sunday was a little different, you know. Um, actually, it wasn't different at all. Just the same amount of people, same amount of events and things like that that was going around here and there. And um, just, I didn't have, like, I didn't, I, I wanted to be there early so I could see everything that was going on. And in my video that I released yesterday, you can actually see the tables where Bluefin was set up. And all the kids, all the people, all and everybody, women, children, young and old, building Gundam kits, and 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 enjoying themselves to, uh, to the new craft. And I was so happy to see something like that. Uh, it, it 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 brought me a lot of joy to see something like this, um, and and just new discoveries for for those who have never built a, a, gun, a robot model kit and it, it, it was interesting though because I was there um, from uh, what was it from 1030 ish to like four close to four and I was there talking with Jordan um, you guys know who Jordan is and uh, there was a couple of other guys I met I started to meet some people that I haven't met before uh, I met um, Gundam NYC who uh, Teddy um, really, really cool guy. Uh, he 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 was happy to meet me. I was happy to meet him. Um, I met uh, Dave, who was the gentleman who um, coordinated the Bluefin, um, uh, you know, the um, the workshop there for all the you know everyone to build. We had a nice conversation. I also had to apologize that I couldn't come on Saturday because I was working. And uh, everybody else was there, and it was funny to we we're talking there, and people were just coming up saying, "Oh, can we? Can where do you have another event like this where we can actually, you know, bring kids and 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 start making model kits for them?" And I want to get into this, and you know, we had we tell them, "Yeah, the next show will be next month, which will be Anime NYC. We'll probably do it again. I don't know. I don't know 100 percent, so I could be completely wrong. But um, there's a possibility that I don't know if they may do it again. It would be nice if they did." Um, they were asking, is there other places to go? And it's like, you know, it would be nice to see, like, communities and hobby shops and, and maybe anime stores do something similar to this. Sometimes it could be done, sometimes it cannot be done due to spacing, due to availability of products. Because remember, these little Gundam kits, which was the RX-782, these are not full high-grade kits. These were, like, um, a more... Uh, a kit that is missing a lot of parts because they molded in you know they molded certain parts into it just to speed uh, build time um, I never got a chance to build one because obviously you know the tables always full but observing it um, like the beam rifle on the RX-782 um, it's molded as one piece so all you need to do is snip it off the um, off the sprue and that's it just put it on the on the hand and you're done and I know for a high grade, the high grade usually has like maybe two or maybe three pieces. I have, I can't say that for certain because I haven't built a high grade Gundam in a long, long, long time. So, but I'm go I'm doing that as an educated guess. With that, I was. Uh, that's what they. You know, they the kids will cut it, put it together, follow the directions. They'll you know raise their hand, asking them what does this, what does you know what this is, what that is. And um, they gave them panel line markers to give them some panel lining. Uh, they they got nippers and 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 tweezers so they can, you know, pick up the parts and put them on if they have to put on the the, the stickers. And yeah, put on the stickers because it's something that they need to learn. You know, it, if you're if you're new at Gundam modeling, yes, you got to work with stickers. You really do. And then later on, you take it to the next level and go to decals. It was kind of funny though. Was it was, it was a gentleman who says, "I want to take my kids to someplace." Uh, you know, was uh, I, I don't know what to do with this. I, I don't understand the instructions, and I actually told them, "Listen, the instructions are easy." And I pulled out one of my kits that I purchased, which I'll show you in a moment. I pulled out the instructions, and I said, "You see this? 
if you can understand that part and that part in the image but based off the number and the sprue of the key it's easy plus the fact that now all the new model kits are coming out in English so you don't have to learn Japanese it's both in Japanese and English so it's a bonus for you buy a couple of small kits enjoy yourself with your son or daughter break it learn something out of it but enjoy it take your time because you know that this is a this is one of your bonding moments with your kids and I was happy to you know help them out when whatever you know whatever questions they had and even though I wasn't a volunteering I've always volunteered my my help to anybody who needs you know whoever asked me a question or things like that but uh, Jordan and and the gang they all did excellent work uh, and I'm glad that they 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 were able to contribute to this and I was glad to see this firsthand I hope this happens again for many years to come and it doesn't have to be at New York Comic Con I hope other cons do the same thing follow same not follow through uh, granted bluefin is not going to be at every con but it depends on maybe somebody else picking up picking it up and 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 working with it on their end so my hats to to everybody at the show I was I'm glad to see that this is happening and I hope to see it again at anime uh, NYC coming uh, next month the swags that I have here is not that much basically you see here is like uh, the Comic-Con book of the show. I always pick up one so I can review it, see what I missed. Um, here's from Bluefin, which I picked up. No catalogs for uh, Gundam, which is a bit of a surprise. And I understand because now um, they're uh, at the show, at the Bluefin booth, it was uh, uh, Dragon Ball Z was a heavy presence there because they were not only showing off all everything of Dragon Ball, they were also showing off the video for the movie Broly that's coming out in January. So that's going to be big. But these were all the exclusives that you can that was on sale at the show, coming soon, of course. If you guys are planning to get one of these, plus there was this Gashapon uh, type. Um, vending machine that for three bucks plus tax you get a coin that you put it in you turn it and you get one of these so that was kind of cool to see that uh, and looks like selected stores they will have something similar to that over there as well I don't know if you guys would be interested uh, picked up this Marvel Universe um, book I'm gonna give it to somebody I know loot crate I'm not a big loot crate fan, and here's something that, yeah, I don't want you to, yeah, I don't care. I don't need it. Stargate Atlantis, Stargate Content Command. I don't know what this is. They were just giving this, giving this away. Um, hmm, limited edition uh, Dragon Ball card. 12,000 power. That was it. Unlike past Comic Cons, you usually get a lot of swag. Remember the days when we got like a hundred T-shirts at a sh at a show? That that I miss those days, of course. But for that to happen, you had to either be online, you had to be uh, join a contest, and hopefully, if you have a good arm, you know you can probably catch a shirt that's being thrown at by some event. And depending on specific events, I think. It's usually, uh, that's why I always like to go Friday and Saturday because those are the guarantees. Sunday was never a guarantee for me, but I wasn't actually planning to pick up a ton of stuff. I did get a bag from Geik, Geik Tall, excuse me, that was like almost half the size of me, which I can carry all my stuff. But uh, you know, I got that and a little plushy toy, no hats, no, uh, no. Actually, I, and, and I was actually looking for like some Gundam T-shirts, but. At that moment in time, I was so tired, and there was so many, and if you saw the video, there was so much stuff going on at that moment that I was like, okay, th this is a little ridiculous. I'm not going to kill myself for, um, for me to get a t-shirt. And it's not, it was not something that I was planning to do to get at the show. But I did get a, a few things, and which I'm about to show you. Now then, mm, 
Uh, let's talk about the stuff that I got. And I'll tell you something before I begin showing you all the things that I received or, I mean, that I picked up. I went all over the place looking for a lot of kits there that just came out. Like the Moon Gundam. And I wanted to get it. I saw it at the on display. I know Jordan got it. But when I went to go get it at the Bluefin, they didn't have it. I went to Image Anime. They, I know they always have a heavy presence there. They didn't have it. Nobody had it. It was already sold out. It's like, ugh. and 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 Jordan was showing me uh, the Moon Gundam uh, in in the little box, and I was like, oh wow, that's really nice. Um, I wish I, I can't wait to get my hands on that. I was also a bit surprised, uh, even though I, uh, my my yesterday's video I showed off all the kits that were shown there. Um, Real Great Sazabi wasn't there on display, even though it was recently came out, as well as the Jagan or the uh, Jagdoga. You would think that they would show that there. Um, I, I did see, of course, all the narrative kits there. The Bill Divers, because it was already, you know, it's pretty much fresh in everybody's mind. And the upcoming 00, um, uh, 007 Swords, Perfect Grade Kit, which I'm not interested in getting it, but after looking at it up close, I was, oof, ooh, ye, maybe, I don't know yet. But anyway, let me show you what I did get. And I'll begin with this little guy. One 72nd scale B-Wing Starfighter from the Empire Strikes Back movie. This is Bandai's take. And uh, I, we all remember the um, the um, monogram. Was it Monogram Reveal or, or Ertl or A... I forgot the name of the company. But yeah, the 80s version of the B-Wing, which I had a lot. I had that a long time ago. Um, this is quite far a very beautiful kit to see. Look at all, look at all the detail on this. Look at that right there. Decals and stickers, of course, are included. And I believe there's an LED light there. I could be wrong. No, that's not an LED light. That's the plate for an LED light. Oh, no, there it is. Yeah, there is an LED light in there. <laughs> nice. Very, very nice. Oh my god, hold on. I'm gonna make sure this looks like I have everything here. Yeah, the wings are all up. Okay, that is so cool. Oh, I can't wait to build this. Ooh, and I think I may build this and paint this for Mosquito Con, maybe? Who knows? Why not? You know? I was still on a Star Wars kick when I saw this because they had a nice display of all the Star Wars kits on display. They didn't have the Corellian Corvette Mega Collide version kit there because it was on. It won't come out until December. I would have loved to pick that up. I did see something that I was I had in my hand. It was the Death Star, not the no. It was the Death Star slash Star Destroyer set, which was kind of cool to see that. And I do have the uh, the um, the Star Destroyer. Where, where is it? Hold on a second. The Star Destroyer um, kit that I picked up online. Very nice. I like it. Very good detail. Look at that. Even I'm still impressed at how detailed it is at the scale. You know what? Doing the light like this is not going to be good. Let me see if I can do a, a zoom. There we go. Uh, when this came out, Bandai couldn't release it here in the States for whatever legal reasons. Now you can get it with the Star Destroyer. So if you get your hands on this, you're going to enjoy a build like this. So I highly recommend getting something like this if you're a big fan of uh, of Star Wars. And of course of this nice little kit. Which of course we have not heard nothing about a star, a large scale Star Destroyer in the first place. What's up Bandai? What the hell are you doing? But instead I did pick up something else. I didn't... It, the... The Death Star set was like about eighteen dollars. This one cost me forty. The Death Star Attack set. I have to admit, this is a cool diorama. I saw pictures of this, and at first, at first, I thought it was like maybe a stupid little thing, but I didn't realize how big and wide that you have here 
and this pretty much opens up the possibility of a nice little attack scene. I don't know if this whole thing is customizable um, because I, if not, if I'm not mistaken, if you buy like other Star Wars kits, it has like the um, the scene from the Death Star, but it's plated where you can mix, can match and increase the the length or the side, something like that. I want to read, uh, do a little bit more research because if, if that's the case, I would not mind creating something like a diorama scene where, you know, you know like there's the hole right there where the torpedo is going to fire in. We all remember this scene. And there's a lot of cool features here that I was impressed with. Plus you get a, a 144 scale um, um, X-Wing. And I thought, didn't they make 144 scale TIE Fighters? I was looking for that and couldn't find it. But I'll have to look online to see. So yeah, this cost me 40 bucks and I'm, I'm big in this. Right now I see two things, two possible kits that I'm going to be making for Mosquito Con. So, oops, <laughs> that's going to be, I'm going to be busy. Moving around, um, you know, you look at a lot of things, try to see what you can see on sale and all that stuff and something unique. And something caught my eye, which I, at first when I looked at it, I was saying, oh, okay, it's a Transformer. I look closely, and it's more than the Transformer. I got this. The Model Kit Nemesis Prime Attack Mode. Model Kit. Event exclusive by Flame Toys. Uh, Flame Toys, Ferrari Models. This authentic Transformer kit. Now, this cost me 35 bucks and I looked at it and I said this is a model kit and sure enough there are the parts uh, you know me I like model kits I'm not a big fan of toys yet I accept them and I acknowledge them but seeing a robot model of this forget it I said it's mine this looks really nice very nice. Bluefin is selling this. Obviously by approved by Hasbro. And I gotta look at this company, Flame Toys and Fria Model. Gotta check their website, see if they have other stuff. I was told that there was a Pri uh, Optimus Prime version of this. And I was looking around, they said no, it was sold out, but this will do. This will do. I like this. Oof, this is these little unique model kits are the one that catches my eye and I say, okay, that's something different and I can't wait to build something like that. You know, going back to the Star Wars kit, I was actually looking for getting a um, one of those little Mecha Collide kits as well from them. See, seeing if I find the Star Destroyer on, on its own. Or maybe Yamato kits. I haven't seen any anyone sell uh, the little ship from, from uh, Yamato. Uh... Didn't see any. Didn't see any. But that's alright. Maybe he'll be in the next show. Looking about, I was trying to see what else I can get. And, you know, I was always saying to myself, eh, I can always get this later. I, 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 don't, I don't need this now in my life. Or do I? And considering that what I saw at, um, at the Tokyo Hobby Show a few weeks ago, and, uh, I was saying to myself, yeah, I want this. So, I got this guy. Ja the Gaian Ghost Jagdoga. One 100 scale. RE100. That is a beautiful, beautiful box. Absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. This cost me 50 bucks. Nice. Very nice. So I got that. The last thing I got was what I promised a lot of people online that I'm going to get. And uh, here it is. The 1-100 scale Master Grade Haokushiki 2.0 Mechanical Clear. 
yeah, this one's the com another Comic Con exclusive. But I got this not for me. No, 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 not for me. This is for you guys. Well, for you, for the specific you. Um, two videos ago, when I was showing off uh, part nine of my uh, GBWC build, I asked a question. What gun? Uh, what will be the name of my Gundam kit that I that I should call it when I take it to the show? Um, right now, there's about 15 to 16 comments in that video. Um, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to compile those names. I, you could still comment on this. I'm not telling you you don't have to, but if you guys want to win this. Not on this video. Do not comment on this video. If you comment on this video, it doesn't count. I'm going to link, uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to link um, part 9 of my build. Um, and go to that video. Comment there. What would I call my build for GBWC? Just review that video so you can see it. There's a lot of information there. I'm not going to repeat it again. But this is going to be the prize when I randomly pick someone who's going to, you know, who puts down what they think it should be called. And by the way, one comment per person. I don't want ten comments from the same person. I had to politely told, I tell somebody, listen, your comments were great and great ideas, but pick one and delete the rest because uh, it, just to be fair with everybody else who may be interested in getting a kit like this. Hmm? Would you guys want a clear version of the Haokushiki? I can imagine you do. Normally I would sell stuff like this on eBay, but I'd rather give it away to someone who helps me out in my GBWC build. So, there you go. So here are all the kits that I got, which I will adjust the camera. Didn't, didn't go crazy, but I did get a lot here. One, two... I don't think I can pull it out in the camera. Can I? We got the old adjustments. Mm. I think that's enough. You guys can see that. So these are all the kits that I got from New York Comic Con. Um, definitely would like to build everything from here up, but I got other kits to build as well. So we'll leave it that, uh, you know, like that. Comic Con was great. It was nice. I would like to go back there again next year. Maybe do another Sunday. Clay a Saturday would be nice, but that will probably be that. And then everything will be NYC anime. So there you go. Thank you guys all for watching and. Uh, Stay tuned for more Gundam models yet to come. You guys all have a great day.